Hi everybody, Pastor Fish here, and uh, today I just like to share a short devotion from John 9, verse 1 to 3, where we find a story uh, where Jesus heals a blind man, and it says, As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man who had been blind from birth. Rabbi, his disciple, asked him, Why was this man born blind? Was it because of his own sins or his parents' sins? And then Jesus answered them, um, It was not because of his sins or his parents' sins. This happened so that the power of God could be seen in him. Today, I just like to speak from this passage because I have found something to be very interesting in this passage. And that is how narrow our perspective can be as human, as people in regards to suffering and hardship. As human, we tend to look at suffering and hardship as a punishment, you know, as God abandoning us for what we have done. And while in fact, it is true, okay, it is true that um, pain and suffering is the result of the fall. Right? It is something that came after Adam and Eve fell out of the garden. And yes, we can see in this story that the disciple, the first response that they gave when they met this blind man was to ask Jesus whether this person's blindness was a result of his sin or his parents' sins. Right? But this perspective tends to make us forget that God is still more than able to turn this for good. You know, he's still suffering and he's still you know, in control, and that sometimes he allows hardship to happen so that his power can be displayed, just like in this story. We can see in this story, if you read further on, after um, the blind man was healed, he went to the city, he went to town, and he was telling everybody about what just happened and whom he just met, right? And then people came to know Jesus because of him. God used his blindness to bring glory to his name and today i just want to say that there is a purpose for your pain there's always a purpose for your pain and sometimes either to strengthen you is to maybe shape you shape your character because i believe that you know through pain and suffering our characters are being built right or sometimes it's so that you and i can be used by him in that moment of suffering. God is not putting you in the valley, in the place where you feel pain, just to punish you. And if you have read your Bible, you know that He loves you too much to do that. The reason why He's putting you in a place where you feel pain and you're suffering is because He's preparing you so that He can take you to another height. So, if today you find yourself in a situation where you are asking a lot of questions, you are praying to God and asking Him, why do you have to go through this kind of season? Can I encourage you by saying, maybe God is looking to use your life as a platform where He can show His glory. And I want you to be encouraged. I want you to be strengthened. Know that we are here for you, that we're praying for you. And with that, uh, I just want to say we miss you. Um, we hope to see you guys soon. Bye.